Hi, uh, it's Jamie from Blue Lagoon Softwash. Uh, we've just been called out by a roofer to have a look at this job. Basically, the lady has been into a loft space next to the dormer to get her Christmas decorations out this month. And what she's found is the felt which is underneath the tiles, which acts as the safety net in case you have a broken tile. So if you have a broken tile, the felt is designed to carry the water that passes the tile down to your gutter. Anyway, what she's found is when she's gone into the loft is where the battens are, the felt has actually depreciated because of moisture and it's started to tear and then she can see the evidence of wet battens on the underside. Now, <coughs> what's actually causing this is they've allowed the roof to get filled up with moss. And these tiles rely on overlap. So where they lap, they've got an inch and there's two little channels on these tiles. So water runs down the gap in between the joints of the tile. And if that gets built up with moss, what happens is it starts to well up and tracks across. Now these tiles have up to maybe about 70 to 80 mil lap so as water's running down there if it gets welled up at the bottom it ends up overflowing and as you can see where the tiles are lapping everywhere it's actually overflowing so what's actually happened this roof has got so bad that the battens have been getting saturated that's rotted the battens, the roofing battens, um, because they've been getting wet and it's also started to rot the felt. So it's got to a stage where, I mean even my advice on this roof, it could, it could be cleaned and it could be soft washed, but when the battens are starting to go rotten on the other side, it certainly means that it's probably going to need a little bit more work than just to clean this roof. So just, just to be aware, it's when you start to see moss on your roof like this, it's extremely important that it's, it's not just, you know, it's, it's not just a, the way it looks, it's the way it's actually affecting the, your, your roof draining off. Um, also another thing to mention is when um, they're covered in moss like this, the roof actually becomes saturated and it becomes more porous. When it becomes more porous, when it's wet, it's going to absorb more moisture and then when you get a frost, the chances are you're going to end up with cracked tiles a lot easier. Okay.